Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Gary McCready from HVAC Know It All. So, what we're going to do today is install an APCO X system in the supply plenum pointing down at the coil for sanitization. On the last video, the link is right here. We installed the APCO X in the return with a remote bulb in the supply. Today is totally different. It's going in the supply, pointing directly at the coil itself. We have a problem with the humidifier here. We're gonna to have to rectify that before we move on. And I'll let you know what that problem is. So in the last video, we didn't exactly get to talk about what comes in the kit. So quickly here, you get the main APCO X module, and this is your titanium infused carbon matrix, right? You have the mounting plate, the gasket, some wiring, you have the bulb, of course, UV bulb, the bulb harness, just some odds and ends here, and then the cover plate. Now, if we take a look at the carbon matrix, this is titanium infused carbon. Basically, it's everlasting carbon that keeps regenerating for the purpose of VOCs and odors. Okay, so now here is the setup that we have right now. And in the instruction manual, it asks for the APCO X to be upstream of the humidifier. So basically what we have to do first is we have to move the humidifier up a notch and install the APCO X underneath it. The reason being is because the humidifier, the pad in the humidifier can break down from the UV. The plastics will be fine, but it's the pad that I'm concerned about. So what I'm gonna do is raise the humidifier up. Shouldn't be a big deal. This is a, a homeowner installed humidifier so we're just going to raise it up for them and then install the APCO X underneath so what we'll have to do is patch this hole up and then cut a hole big enough for the APCO X to slide through just above the coil there so we're almost done with moving the humidifier okay we're just going to neaten everything up a little bit better than what the homeowner had it was a homeowner install if I didn't mention that prior and now we can see inside right so what we have to do here is I'm going to take you around the other side. We're going to have to install the APCO X on the other side of the furnace because we've run out of real estate here to install it here. We're going to install it on the other side and I'll show you what I mean. So what we're going to have to do is install our APCO X somewhere right in this area where it's going to be pointing down onto the coil rather than pointing up and it's out of direct line of sight from that humidifier pad. Now here are the instructions showing that the humidifier can be safely installed above the APCO X product so that UV light is not in direct line of sight. So what we've done here is just trace the gasket out and we're going to cut that out and place the gasket along with the mounting bracket right onto the supply duct itself. But once you have your gasket mounted to the duct, you're gonna to wanna to mount your bracket to the gasket so it's stuck. It's sticky on both sides. And you're gonna to wanna to use the screws provided. There's four holes and make sure it's fastened real tight and then bend all these tabs back so they reach in behind the duct back here. So we had to do a little bit of maneuvering because the refrigerant pipe is in the way, but it got by and in no problem. Now, what you wanna do is you want to line the holes up with the module with these bolts that stick off the mounting bracket. And there's nuts that come with the kit, plastic nuts that we can fasten this down with. So here's the plastic nut here. I've got three of them on now. so. Just the last one to go on and then we're all fastened in and we're ready for the bulb. So here's our UVC lamp. We're going to unpackage it. And what happens with that is there are similar nuts like we use to fasten down the module and the bulb just slides right in there. And then we fasten it and then we hook the harness up and then we wire down into the control cabinet. So here's the bulb here, and what we're gonna do with the bulb is be very careful, by the way, and inspect it when you take it out of the box. It's nicely sealed and it's nicely packaged, so it's not gonna be damaged in transit as long as you're not throwing it around your truck. So what we wanna do is we wanna slide the bulb into the opening right here. And there's similar nuts that comes with to fasten down the whole module to the duct. So we want to use these nuts to fasten the bulb into place. So this is the harness that's already plugged into the power module. Now, if you look at the bulb, there's a cutout there. So you can only put this in one way. There's a notch here and a cutout there. So you can only put this in one way so you can't mess this up. So next what we're going to do is we're going to run the power wiring, the 24 volt power wiring, down into the furnace and I have a secondary transformer to do that. So I think you've seen by now that this is a pretty easy install. 
Okay, all we have to do is cut the duct out, mount the bracket along with the gasket, okay? It comes with all the plastic nuts, it comes with the bulb and the harness. Now, here's another simplistic way that we're gonna wire this up. So this comes in the kit, this wire. All we have to do is plug it into here and route it down to where our secondary transformer is gonna be. I say secondary because we don't wanna use the furnace transformer. We don't wanna overload the furnace transformer, especially if we're going to use a two bulb system. But regardless, guys, I would always pick up a second transformer. The only thing that doesn't come with the kit is the transformer. So pick one up, fused if possible. I'm just gonna use a 40 VA. I couldn't get a fused one. Uh, I'm gonna use that one and I'm gonna wire this up and we're gonna test this thing out. Okay, so we've routed our wire down. I mean, the original installer didn't do such a good job, so we're going to have to tidy this up. But we have mounted our transformer. We have landed our control wires. Now all we have to do is pick up our 120, and we're going to do that, and then we're going to test this out and see how it goes. So let me show you something here before I patch the hole up where the humidifier used to be. Now you can see that the lamp is in direct line of sight of the coil. Okay, you can see that there. Now what it's not in the direct line of sight of is our humidifier pad, which is somewhere around here. That's the end of it. We are not in direct line of sight of that humidifier pad, so we're not in jeopardy of damaging it. Okay, so we're all powered up and we get a good indication that the UV light is on and working by that blue illuminated ring right there. So last thing to do is put the cover back on and that's it guys. Happy H-Vacking.